Hi, and welcome to this Selenium recipe. In this video, we're going to have a look on how we can open the context menu for an item. You know what I mean, right? I mean, when you go to a link or to an input field and you right click, this is the context menu. So we want to know how we can open the menu and how we can, I don't know, click one of these items. It may be that in the future you'll, you'll need to test some um, context menus which are customized for your application and it's really good to know how this can be done. So what will be our test? So we will need to identify the element, go to the element, then find a way to open it, the context menu and then find a way to navigate to, I don't know, this open in incognito or open in new tab. So this is going to be achieved by the action class, which we have here opened. But first, let's go to IntelliJ. And I have already created a test for us. It's just a normal test where you can, if you copy any of the tests which are in the Git repo, this is a really normal test which extends our base test and I just, well, I have nothing written here at the moment. So let's put the steps in. So we identify the web element. Okay. We um, go to the web element. Then we're going to uh, open the context menu and then we're going to do a different a different one where we will um, click on open in new tab okay so how to identify this web element if we go to inspect we see that it has a really nice link text so we copy that go to IntelliJ we just do web element, um, let's say a link, and to find it, we do driver, find by, and we're going to do partial link text, pasting in the text, and there you have it. We save it now, and for the, uh, the part with go to the web element, I said we're going to use this uh, action class which I'm going to provide you with document, the link to the documentation right here. So in order to do this, we need to instantiate um, this uh, action class. Okay, so we basically, similar to what we do to web elements, we just need to do the same with the action class. So we, do, we say action, and let's say action to perform equals action and we're going to give it the driver or oh, actually it's new action okay it's actually actions We have it imported it. Just go import class. Good. Now that we have the action, so we will first need to, we have the element here. So how does this, this work? So you, you first, you, you need to tell the action uh, the steps that it has to do. And in the end, there's the word perform, which will actually perform the action. So for this one here, we will need to tell it to what? To go to the element and open the context menu and then perform the action, of course. So we say move to element and the element is the link. Yeah. And after that, we have again, uh, not the link, but the actions to perform. And 
as I said, we have the, we need to open the context menu and this is really easy. We have context, click. See, we have two, two options here. We can either give it a web element as a target. If we would do that, we wouldn't need the move to element, but just to be certain, let's give it the one with uh, um, the web element with the link. And then we need to build it and then perform. So we actually did this one in there as well. Um, let's add a nice print here to stop. And let us debug it. Okay. And debug it. It was pretty fast, but it did open the context. If you don't believe me, pause the video <laughs> when you watch it on YouTube and you'll see it did open the context. Okay, so now we know how to open the context and we wanted to do a little bit, a little bit more. So we're going to leave it here and let's just say uh, instantiate actions. And here we're going to say open the context. Open the context. Okay. And for the click, for the click, we're going to do something similar. We already have the actions there. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to have it open the um, the context, but going to need to, get to, to tell it, okay, we said we want to open it in a new tab. So what does that mean? That means the new tab is either the first, yeah, it's the first option. So we need to navigate one time down and then click on perform. And how do we do that? We do that by using send keys and the word keys and then arrow down. So it's basically, uh, if you do from the mouse, you go here and I'm, I'm pressing the arrow keys down. And what do I do? What do I need to press next so that it happens? Well, yeah, enter. And that's what I'm going to do here as well. Um, put another point and keys. And there's no enter or the enter is actually called return. And if we do build and perform, we actually should be done. Okay, let's put a breakpoint here, debug our test and pray for the better. So it didn't open in a new tab, but it did, it did open. Uh, okay. I'm pretty satisfied with this, considering that the main focus was to actually uh, have um, a way to deal with the context menu. I hope you enjoyed this video. In the next one, we're going to do really cool stuff with files. So be sure to watch it. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.